Hello Beauty News family, welcome to Beauty News Updates. Yes. This is the 23rd of April edition. Yep, I so love updates. updates. We haven't updates done updates haven't, in ages. No, we haven't. It feels like we always sort of skip updates. Uh, so when they roll around, it's like... Hmm. Oh, here we updates. are with updates. updates. So if you're new here, which I know a lot of people may be new here because we had a pretty successful video last week, um, our pom-pom thing. So if you're new here, welcome. Hello. Uh, we talk about news on Fridays and then on Mondays we talk about updates to past news that we have need to update you on. Things that we've spoken about before, but there's been new revelations. So that's yes. what we're doing today. All right. We're going to start with Inglot. Inglot and JLo. Yep. So, um, we've seen a little bit more information. What was that? Oh, that, that was, was a, a very throat. upset throat. Uh, we've seen a little bit more information about what's being released. There is a first look palette, which is a pre-sale. Yeah. So this contains three eyeshadows and a bronzer, mm. um, and it is available to purchase now. So 49 US dollars, but the rest is still coming on the scheduled date, which was the 26th, I believe. Yep. April 26th. Yeah. So in addition to the palette that they're showing, they are, well, firstly, the palette comes in limited edition um, packaging. So mm. this is their freedom palette um and this has jennifer lopez design on it so there is what was it 70 items being released in this so, collection yeah, something like that um, it was a lot it was a lot so we've seen a few other sneak peeks as well so um they've shown the bronzer shown the eyeshadows and then they say the lip which mm. is um besame yeah so uh that is a beautiful red that will be coming um, and I've noticed that all the numbers are J something. So they yep. are going to all be uh, new shades to the J-Lo line. Which is so exciting. Yeah. Which I'm is, so impressed. Yeah, I think that's really great. And yep. they are breaking down the promotional images um, and showing how to, like what products are used. So on the eye um, is Pink Satin, which is one of the shades that will be in that palette. Um, we talked about the lip. And then on the cheek, there's the bronzer that they've shown as well. So they are breaking down the promotional images, which is cool. Um, and I did say when we first talked about this that I really liked the promotional images and the, the products that they were using looked really, really nice. So this is just a sneak peek of what is coming um, soon. Yeah, very exciting. Good on them. Okay, Kylie and Kourtney Kardashian. Yes. We've finally seen what those things that almost look like post-it note stacks yeah, are. Yeah, the compacts. Yeah. They are quad eyeshadow palettes. Mm -hmm. So they're describing these as pressed powder palettes, which mm -hmm. would probably mean that they, some of the pigments in there might not be eye safe. Um, but they do have beautiful holographic packaging. So each of them have a different design. One looks like a water design with holographic the next one has holographic lips and then like holographic sort of palm tree type design um and we can see the shades there's one that's very very warm mm -hmm. so this is the blue palette um with the water design there's a beautiful gold a be beautiful sort of uh, I don't know, copper shimmer mm. and then a warm matte uh, sort of orangey shade and a dark brown. Uh, they look very nice swatched. There you go. It is what it is. The pink palette um, is more sort of muted. So there's more champagne, taupe, a softer gold and like a peachy color. Uh, once again, very pretty swatched. And the green one looks more like the Christmas palette. It, it does. It's got like a dusty sort of um, mauvey taupe matte with a like a beautiful dark matte red uh, sort of cool green and then a shimmery taupe as well so these look cool swatched yeah. i think this is an interesting palette um and then we've also seen the three lip products there's french kiss there's rad and there's mini so um these are inspired by three of her fave go-to shades so french kiss is a very light nude mini is a very peachy mid-tone nude and rad is a you know a kind of like an orangey red which is really really beautiful it's rad it's rad it is yeah. good some of these look a bit chunky on the lips french kiss looked really kind of i don't know like it, like didn't it was sit very away well. from yeah the from yeah. the inner part of the lips it was a bit weird um but we've also seen the marketing imagery imagery and this is where the sort of like underpants Bikini. thing came yeah. in like they're very much trying to it's a summer collection they're at the beach 
It looks it's like they're a at a resort. They're yeah, like it, rich people at a resort. Yeah. And they're so, showing off their bodies. Yeah. It I mean, is what it is. My ass look like that. I don't know. Same. So, you know. Okay. So, this is new news, but I think oh, you can thinly veil it as an update because I, we know that Makeup Geek has been talking about being in store for a long time. Yep. They were going to open up their own flagship store, I think, but that didn't happen. Um, but news has hit that... Makeup Geek, along with seven other brands, are now stocked in the US Target. Now, this is pretty cool. Firstly, mm -hmm. I'm going to say sorry if you live anywhere else that has a Target. I know in Australia, the Australian Target is a completely different company yeah. to the US Target. Yeah. So just because they're there, that does not mean it's coming to us because they are completely different companies. Anyway, um, the reason they've done this is really, really awesome. So the brands that are that's coming, um, they're currently available online at Target, but they're coming in stores in May, May the 20th. Now, the reason they've done this is to increase diversity, which is fucking fantastic. So new eight new makeup brands for like deeper skin tones um, and just, you know, a more diverse range of makeup. There's Colored Rain. There's uh, Every Hue Beauty, Haley's. Some of these I don't personally know, but it is what it is. Um, there's Hue Noir, um, and that's, you know, sort of colors designed specifically for deeper skin tones. Um, there's Reina Rebeldi, which is formulated for Latina women. Uh -huh. uh, Violet Voss, which is known for their colorful eyeshadows, a lot of pigmentation that shows up on deeper skin tones. The Lip Bar and, of course, Makeup Geek. So this is awesome. It's yeah. a very good thing. I agree. Highly recommend people go buy these like uh, brands from Target to promote that. This is a really smart move. You don't want – you don't just want – you know, 10 shades of beige and a nude eyeshadow palette no. just because it's an accessible store. You want more diverse makeup accessible 100%. to more people. So, yeah, if you're in the US and you like this move, definitely start buying some of these brands from Target to show your support. I agree. All right, Nabla, let's update this Soul Blooming palette. We've seen what it looks like and... Mm, it's interesting. Yeah, it is interesting. Um, so a nice combination of cools and warms, but they've brought in sort of like this periwinkle blue, which is, I suppose, what you would call the pop of color in this palette. Um, and anemone. Oh. Yeah. Oh. I I like I like this palette. I yeah, I actually really love flowery. I think that's a really unique color that isn't really brought back yet. Yeah. Um, so for me, I think this looks like a cooler version of Huda Rose Gold, not Rose Gold, Huda Desert Dusk. Yeah. Because it's got that garden gate, which is sort of like one of her duochrome sort of shades. Um, I think this is nice for me. The quad with the blues and purples yeah, I is agree. what, like not necessarily middle karma. That's pretty boring. But the, that area of the palette that little interests me trio, the most. Yeah, it looks I agree. like magic, and I reckon that trio together would make a stunning eye look. But if you take them away, the rest of it's boring. It's like oh, yawn. Yeah, it's almost like um, another color pop palette. You know, the, oh, you know it the, is. it's just uh, another repeated yeah. warm tone. Yeah, it's bit of peach, bit it's of bronze. Another warm tone palette with yeah. pop of color. Like yeah. we all know the pop of color phenomenon. It's yeah. a thing that makes you want to buy shit that you already have, basically. Yeah, because of the pop of color. Pop of color. Yeah. So for me, I think this is cool. It's, it is releasing the third of May, so we've got a date. Um, but I think the yeah the trio in there, mm. I just want individually because the rest, I feel like I've got time and time again yeah i feel you on that i think um instead of buying this i would prefer to just look for shades in my collection that look like the three that inspire me from the palette yeah mm. yeah or just buy them from inglot anyway yeah. um <laughs> maybe much. but along with that palette they're releasing dazzle liners so um these are four new shades of their dazzle liners uh there is current eden mantra royal blood and original sin mm. so um they look pretty as well if you are interested in that and they do work well with the color scheme of the, the palette. palette yeah, yeah i agree 
we're going to go alphabetical and we're going to talk about something. This feels like beating a dead horse. We've been talking about this for so long. This yeah. is the Besame Agent Carter collection and we are seeing more of what is going to be in that collection. I don't know if this is the last of it. I have no idea mm-hmm. because these collections get crazy with the way they release them. Yeah, they do um, stack them. They do. So first up, we have the Invisible Dusting Powder. Um, so it looks to be mm, a setting powder. Mm-hmm. And that one is going to be retailing for $35. Next up, there is a palette. The Passport Shadow Palette, $36. Yeah. yeah. So it's a six-pan palette. Um, a bronze, a sort of pale yellowy gold a light pink there's a foresty green in there like a mossy green yeah yep. a um burgundy and a matte mid-toned brown mm-hmm. yeah and then also there's a new red as well so yeah. it's 102 sweet dreams 24 dollars um in the limited edition packaging that we saw in that sort of mystery the box mystery box yeah that lipstick wasn't included in that mystery box was it i'm not sure the listing on the Besame Cosmetics website says it contains 102, 103, and 104. 102 is red velvet. However, on the yeah. Instagram post, they're saying 102 Sweet Dreams. So I don't know if they are the same lipstick or not. Not sure. No. But that is coming out 23rd of April. So um... today or tomorrow. Yeah, that's true. Yep. Or if you were at Dapper Day Expo or Disney Resort on the 21st or 22nd, you could get it pre-launched there. Excellent. Random. Okay, we've got some more blush palettes from by Terry. These mm-hmm. are the Sun Designer palettes, and they're adding two new shades to the range. We've got Hippie Chic here uh, and Happy Sun. Happy Sun is interesting. Yeah, I'm interested in this. Yeah. I think it looks like a beautiful, like, deeper skin palette. Yeah. Some really nice contour colors. So these are designed to be highlight, blush, bl- blush, blush, <laughs> blush, uh, blush and bronzers. Yeah. So you can, you know, use it however you want. But, you know, the warmer ones, probably blushes, uh, cooler ones, bronzers, whatnot. Yeah. But um, they brought out these, I think this is the third year in a row. So this mm. is number five and number six. Um, so technically these are new, but we want to talk about them now because they're it's out. An, it's an addition to the range, so yeah. it can be considered both. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we'll allow it. But yeah, they're available now um, and they're 52 euros. So I don't oh. know what that's going to be in US dollars or Australian dollars. I can tell you. It's too much. Expensive. Expensive. <laughs> uh, but you get 15 grams of product in each palette. Yeah. Um, last week we talked about First Aid Beauty bringing out some sort of cleanser. Today we know what it is. This is the Hello Fab Coconut Micellar Makeup Melter. Um, yeah. I know. What, what do you want me to say? <laughs> well, that explains it, doesn't yes. it? Yes. Um, but Micellar Makeup Melter. Yeah, it, well, it's so funny. It's it micellar is, Water with Coconut Oil? It is a funny one, yeah. It seems like... The product is an oil cleanser, but with a micellar base. Mm. I don't know how that works. Unless it's a, one of those dual phase type ones, Possibly. like the Garnier one. Actually, yeah, it could Does very Garnier well be. Garnier do have yeah. one of those, micellar water with oil? Yeah. It says it's a gel textured makeup remover. Mm. I don't know. It's interesting. Yeah. So there we go. It's available already on Sephora and yeah. firstaidbeauty.com. Gimme Glow Cosmetics, uh, a couple of months ago, I think it was in February, they showed a black and white image of uh, their Summer Vibes palette. And uh, they were mentioning that they were looking for two more shades to go in the palette. And recently they posted this image of two blue shades and said the Electric Mint 1. I'm so glad because we have a matching matte that's going in the palette too. Yeah, um, so it looks like they had a voting for between the two. Yeah. And uh, the one with the kind of gold shift was the one that won. Yeah. So that one will be in the palette. Excellent. All right, Laura Lee, uh, we're going to be getting a new product from her very soon for Laura Lee Los Angeles. Also looks like she changed her logo. 
Yeah. So uh, she's done uh, one of those things that brands sometimes do when they want to release something. They put all their past photos on private um, and they just show uh, a few things. So uh, there's now six images on Laura Lee Los Angeles Instagram account. It says, so pretty much it says that the 24th of April, something is coming. Uh, that is so soon that I don't know if when I'm editing this, we'll have an update, but we'll talk to you about sure. it next week. Um, but, and then there's some uh, photos. I was going to say selfies. They're not, they're, pro they're promotional photos of her wearing just like brown eyeshadows. So um, we're going to assume it is an eyeshadow palette because she has shown black and white pans before. But I reckon these showcase the lip products better. So yeah, I would, it wouldn't be surprised if she's bringing out lip products as well. Hey guys, it's Kat just checking in while editing. Uh, we have seen what Laura Lee is releasing on the 24th of April. Uh, it is an eyeshadow palette. It's a 14 pan, very nude eyeshadow palette called Nudie Patootie. Uh, along with... We picked it, uh, three nude liquid lipsticks. So in those promotional images, she was also showing off the lip product um, and also two eyeliners, one black and one nude. So if you do want to see more photos, they'll be on the screen. But if you're listening on the podcast, they'll be in the blog post. So make sure you check those out and we'll talk about it more next week. Now let's get back to the regular episode. All right, here's uh, some MAC updates. Mm -hmm. Firstly, we have seen the Puma and MAC collab that we talked yeah. about, oh, shit, a year ago? Yeah, it's been a year, for It's sure. been a while. So um, you can see, we did hear that they were creating shoes inspired by lipstick shades. Um, now you can see Lady Danger, limited mm. edition, bright sort of orangey red, like all one color shoes, so this really nude, fleshy color is creme de nude. And then we've got Sin, which is a beautiful, dark kind of uh, wine red. I so think I need to buy the Sin ones. They're pretty cool. I didn't want to do this. Like, I didn't... Like, I'm, I'm all for it. But for me, Puma and MAC getting together to make shoes inspired by lipstick colors, I'm just like, Jesus Christ, can you be any more fucking thirsty for the money? Like, Look, I didn't mind it because it's... It hasn't been done before. And no, if you it hasn't. really like oh, firstly, if you're a big Mac lipstick fan, and I've got two of these lipsticks, so yeah. I do like them. But if you're a big fan of the colour or, or matching, yeah. matching your lipstick to your shoes is kind of an interesting concept. I'm not gonna well, say Well it I'm is. Not gonna, I'm yeah. not gonna hate on it. Yeah. But you know, they're they're not bad. They're, they're not bad. Yeah, they're not bad. I just think it's like to be honest, I prefer a t shirt. Like mm, I, I reckon that's a bit cliche. You reckon? Yeah, I think shoes are a little bit more interesting. Shoes are a lot more expensive too. Yeah, but they last. You wear them more. Anyway, anyway, more Mac news. Um, this is just for the Australian audiences. Uh, the other week, it was only a week ago, two weeks ago, we talked about new mineralized skin finishes and min mineralized blushes. They are already released in Australia. Mm, that so was quick. That was super quick. So you can already buy them, um, blushes, the highlighters, Go get them if you want them. So that was cool. All right, update on Melt Cosmetics. We did talk about this on Friday, um, and we kind of said we're a little bit confused, and I'm going to say I'm still a little bit confused. So we talked about their blushes, and then we said how we weren't sure why they also are sneak peeking something else with the hashtag um, blush lights. So we were saying that it's definitely something else and not just the blushes. Now, I did put on the screen um the explanation of what it is but i thought i'd discuss it because it's i don't know i think the explanation is a bit strange so they've in this swatch video not video photo they've got the three blushes down the bottom you can see they're matte and then they've got seven other items that they're calling blush lights now these aren't highlighters they're they're not blushes they're not blushes they're yeah. supposed to give you a radiant flush in a vast array of dainty tones. Green is dainty. Yeah, of course. Good. Yeah. So you can use them as a blush, like a shimmery blush, because we all need mint green cheeks, um, or as a highlighter or as a topper. Now, I really want to stress this fact. All fucking highlighters can be used as a blush as a blush topper or as a highlighter. These are fancy versions of highlighters you that... You can fucking cover your 
the whole body in you it. Wear wear it as as an eyeshadow, you can wear them as an eyeshadow. You can wear them as a lip product. You can do whatever the fuck you want with highlighters and oh blushes. God. So the fact that they are making this out to be a new hybrid thing, I don't fucking get it. Go away. Um, but you can see the shades here. So once again, the matte ones... Um, sort of on the side, on the uh, left side are all the blushes and the rest are blush lights. Sure. Sure thing melt. Sure thing melt. Mm, brain melt. Yep. But they've got highlighters and their highlighters look gorgeous. So I don't understand why they feel the need to release something else <laughs> just to like fill a need that isn't there. Because landfill. That's true. Obviously. All right. Let's talk about uh, melt now. Milk. Milk. <laughs> <laughs> we just spoke about melt. Wait. Yes, we did. Oh, my God. Correct. I'm so confused. Let's talk about the next brand that's kind of the same <laughs> with more shit. Yep. So, um, melt. Milk. Milk. <laughs> okay. Milk cosmetics. <laughs> milk makeup. Is it bring- <laughs> Milk makeup. <laughs> Oh my god. Until it's the end of the week. The Kush mascara. The fucking 420 mascara. Okay. Um, When we talked about it on Friday, we didn't. We we had rumors that it was a Kush mascara. It wasn't 100% confirmed what it was while we were talking about it, while we were filming, but it came out that it's definitely Kush mascara. Um, And I love, I love this part where they say it's got heart shaped fibers that provide maximum volume. I know, they are really selling some bullshit, aren't they? It's really bizarre. I love that they've spent so much time as well, like, mansplaining the benefits of cannabis oil because so many people... like It's got the puff, puff brush. Cringe. So, I look, you know, just if that's what you want to do... I love it that also they've got it for $24, which is releasing on, like, 20th of the 4th. So, four twenty. $24. The, this whole um, cannabis oil, the CBD-rich cannabis oil that conditions lashes, lashes for thickness without the fallout. Did you know every oil will do that for you? <laughs> Pretty much. Well, it like, also... Well, then they're not wrong. No. <laughs> so with the mascara, not only were they, like, over-explaining the benefits and really harping on about it, but they showed a few people trying it, and I'm like, I'm not very impressed. Uh, the look on this girl's face is pretty much... Uh, <laughs> that was supposed to be a wow kind of face. And it was me, more of a wow. I was like, oh, <laughs> I don't see it. And she's actually got it on one eye and not the other. So can you see the difference? I sure as fuck can't. <laughs> so it's just another mascara. If you want to try it, go for it. But yeah. it's nothing special. Look, if you like the brand and you like the more natural look mascara, then, you know, fucking go for it. Yeah. But- yeah, I'm not going to be I'm not going to be begging my friends to go overseas and buy it for me. Hell no. No. Um Ofra are releasing mini highlighters, guys. This is great. This is really cool. So, on Beauty Bay, they have uh Rodeo Drive at the moment. It is a 4 gram mini highlighter retailing for Australian 1920. <laughs> 1920 it was a good year i wasn't there but my nan told me about it <laughs> um but yeah i but think these are four grams that's, that's a lot. lot look four grams is i think uh the laura gala gelato swirl are yeah four, four point something exactly grams. so these are still like you will take you a year to use these up if you use them every day 100 percent. and i would much prefer to have 10 smaller highlighters than five big highlighters yeah. so i'm digging it but they, there are other shades there are other shades so they've got um pillow talk and blissful and they're both available on the offer website retailing for 18 us dollars yeah um but those two particular shades aren't available on beauty bay just, just yet. yet yeah Another update, this mm-hmm. we predicted, unfortunately. Yeah. So if you went to Mecca Land the other week and you bought the Steeler Magnificent Metal Glitter and Glow in Beauty Junkie because it was saying that it was launching exclusively at Mecca Land. And if you are in Australia or New Zealand and you shop at Mecca, you know that they refer to their customers as Beauty Junkies. Um, so this was like, we named it for an event. 
we love you guys in Australia and New Zealand. Well, they've actually just released it on the Steeler website. So now it's available to everyone. We called it. It's yep. happened. Um, so it is a beautiful rose pink with gold yes. sparkle. I've got a little bit on my eye along with fucking every other color <laughs> in the world. So you probably can't see it, but it's a nice color. But it, it would have been nice if it was a little bit special and exclusive to Mecca. I agree. Um, look, I love to Mecca land. But I knew that when they were like exclusive to Mecca Land, I knew that but they it, said exclusive launch. Launch, I think. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So like the words, mm, yeah, yeah. I'd, yeah. It would have been really cool if Mecca Land literally had an exclusive product. Yes. It, like you can't get it anywhere unless you go to Mecca Land. But yeah. oh, look, well. maybe one day. Maybe in the next future, year. Maybe. The next thing, and is this the last thing? Oh my god, it got, is. It, yeah, it is. It is. Um, Touch and Soul are adding some new shades to their uh, metalist eyeshadow duo things. Yeah. Um, so they've got five new shades that are exclusive to Sephora. Really pretty. There's a yellow, sort of a um, aqua green, pink purpley blue and a peachy color and then there's some more shades that are exclusive to Ulta online mm -hmm. so there you go if you like these there's more shades it's like there's more muted colors at Ulta and more fun shades at Sephora yeah strange not not too surprised to be honest yeah, I guess so. <laughs> All right, guys, so that's it for us today. Before we go, we do want to remind you that our 300K giveaway is still open. So if you would like to enter, the link will be down below in the description box. And if and, you, yeah, but if you yeah. did miss the announcement of it when we uh, started it a couple of weeks ago, um, you can go in the running to win a $100 Beautylish voucher. Yes. Not voucher. Or, We'll buy a hundred dollars worth of stuff and have it shipped to you. Have it shipped yeah. to you. Yeah. Um, also, to clarify, if Beautylish does not ship to your country and you win, we will organize it to be shipped to us, and then we'll ship it to yeah. you. Like it will yeah. happen. It will just take longer. Yeah. We'll work it out. We'll, we'll sort it out. out. We'll make sure. Like, don't feel like just because you're in a country Beautylish won't ship to you. We'll get it to you. Oh yeah. Oh, hey, we will do it. We will fly it to you if we have to. Trust me. Okay. Maybe. We probably won't. But we will get it to The you. mailman will. Exactly. Exactly. So don't you worry. You're still able to enter. Absolutely. Um, all right, guys. We're going to go. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And we will see you on Wednesday for a, a video Ooh. I'm excited about. I'm excited about it too. Yeah. All right. Okay. Bye. Bye.